the dark ages of the universe are undergoing an unprecedented flood of illuminating occurrences. Surprisingly, the evidence implies that throughout this time, stars had not yet formed and galaxies were unthinkable. This perception is, however, quickly changing. The universe, which sprang from the catastrophic Big Bang event, now presents itself as a profound mystery that defies our prior comprehension. Thanks to the amazing James Webb Space Telescope and its exceptional infrared detection capabilities, we have now discovered galaxies from the early phases of the cosmos. And now, two of the most eminent physicists of our day are arguing that the JWST is the only thing that is upending how we perceive the universe. As they discuss the most recent discovery made by the telescope, which occurred only last week, their voices reverberate with amazement. With its unmatched skills, Webb has observed a remarkable event, an epic collision of galaxies at the extreme frontier of the cosmos, and has seen something so enormous that it dwarfs our sun by a startling factor of 10,000. What do these incredible discoveries actually mean? You will get to know this and plenty more as we dive into the details of today's show. However, before getting started with the video officially, Here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. More complexities. Majestic galaxies like our own Milky Way are believed to have formed in the cosmos through cosmic interactions amongst the first galactic entities. These infant formations were nothing more than tiny stars groupings floating aimlessly in space. However, the James Webb Space Telescope's extraordinary capability has granted us a view into the domain of the universe's oldest galaxies each of which is only a few hundred light years across. These young galaxies, which formed only 430 million years after the catastrophic Big Bang, dance ethereally in the heavens as they approach, merging into a larger cosmic body. This groundbreaking discovery has the potential to reveal the mysterious details of galactic evolution during the early stages of our cosmos, illuminating the amazing marvels and mystiques that obscure our solar system's origins. Yet something unexpected happens. Let's introduce Max JD, also known as Max 0647 JD, a very far away creature that was first noticed 10 years ago. Max JD, once regarded as the farthest galaxy ever seen, is still one of the earliest objects we can study in great detail with the JWST. Galaxies from the beginning of time typically escape our vision because of their faintness and distance, which hides their existence. Max JD's light has undergone a stunning triadic lensing event after traveling for eons, intensifying and distorting its shine as it passes through a massive galaxy cluster. The cluster distorts space-time to our sight, turning the light into a mesmerizing trinity of pictures. These photos, which have been magnified by factors of 8, 5, and 2, astound us with their brilliance and outperform galaxies that are located nearby. But there's a fascinating twist coming. What was originally thought to be a single creature is now revealed to be two developing celestial children, A and B. A is bright and roomy, with a recent star birth and a spotless lack of cosmic dust. B, in comparison, has an aged appearance with a tinge of stardust. Their different star formation histories imply that they sprang from remote regions and have only recently come together. However, other scientists are hesitant to accept this idea and hold misgivings. They provide alternate explanations, including the prospect of a merger. The idea that one galaxy may act as a satellite for the other, or the idea that both components are essential elements of a wider cosmic web. While we wait for more information, the puzzles continue. But let's go deeper into the astonishing discoveries made by the remarkable Webb Telescope, which has shown the universe in never-before-seen splendor. Just last week, the JWST discovered an important clue, the possibility that millions of supermassive stars, enormous in size and up to 10,000 times as big as our Sun, may have existed at the beginning of creation. These star behemoths, which were created just 440 million years after the thunderous Big Bang, have the potential to shed light on the cosmic process of heavy element synthesis. In the prestigious journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, researchers described these enormous stars as celestial monsters, and they reported their astounding discoveries. The study's lead author, eminent astronomer Professor Corinne Charbonneau of the University of Geneva in Switzerland said, with the data gathered by the James Webb Space Telescope, we believe we have stumbled upon the initial traces of these extraordinary stellar entities. Within globular clusters, which are dense aggregations of tens of thousands to millions of densely packed stars, and many of which are among the universe's oldest formations, chemical remnants of enormous stars have been found. About 180 globular clusters dispersed across our Milky Way galaxy serve as windows into the distant past, giving astronomers a look into the earliest epochs of our cosmos. Strangely, while developing at around the same period and from the same gas and dust clouds 13.4 billion years ago, 
Some of the stars in these clusters had dramatically differing ratios of the elements oxygen, nitrogen, sodium, and aluminum. The presence of supermassive stars, celestial behemoths, created in the denser surroundings of the early cosmos is thought to be the cause of this astounding elemental variety according to astronomers. These massive objects burned through their fuel at much higher temperatures, producing heavier materials that later contaminated smaller developing stars made mostly of lighter elements. Finding these stars has proven difficult, though. These blazing titans, which ranged in mass from 5,000 to 10,000 times that of our Sun, immersed themselves at temperatures of 135 million degrees Fahrenheit or 75 million degrees Celsius. Larger, brighter, and hotter stars have a shorter lifespan. Thus, these cosmic titans have long since perished in violent explosions known as hypernovas. Additional discoveries made by the JWST include the discovery of six galaxies that first appeared 500 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are also more evolved and have more stars than the Milky Way does now. Their existence raises questions about our cosmological model, which causes scientists more anxiety. One of these galaxies has been discovered by researchers from the University of Minnesota to be so unique that our understanding may need to be revised. According to Michio Kaku, well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang, which are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy and that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. And not just Mr. Kaku. Even the famous astrophysicist and science communicator Neil deGrasse Tyson is stunned. All right, so now let's tune the telescope into galaxies being born. And oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're finding galaxies in the dark ages. Cosmic Inflation Theory According to the cosmic inflation theory, the Big Bang produced an immensely hot, dense point from which the cosmos expanded. In less than a trillionth of a trillionth of a second, inflation triggered a fast expansion that increased the size of the universe by 90 times. The universe went from subatomic to tennis ball size in a second as it grew, cooled, and matter began to form. With stuff like neutrons, protons, electrons, protons, photons, neutrinos arriving within one second of the Big Bang, the universe then continued to expand at a slower rate. Light elements were produced by Big Bang nucleosynthesis in the first three minutes of the universe's existence. However, the universe was too hot for 380,000 years for light to be seen. Atoms collided and split apart as a result of the extreme heat, creating a dense plasma of protons, neutrons, and electrons that dispersed light like fog. After about 380,000 years, the substance started to cool, which allowed atoms to form. The universe was still dark, however, as no stars or other brilliant things had yet formed. After 400 million years since the Big Bang, the cosmos has finally emerged from its dark ages. The first stars appear during this time, also referred to as the Age of Reionization, which lasted for more than 500 million years. According to scientific theory, galaxies began to form within the first billion years after the Big Bang and reached a more developed stage between 1 and 2 billion years later. The early stars and galaxies were very different from those we see now. They were considerably bigger, hotter, and brighter, and they had much shorter lives. Heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and iron are also generated through nuclear fusion and supernova explosions. These heavy substances improve the interstellar medium, promoting the formation of more diverse forms of stars and planets. Furthermore, early galaxies were smaller, more erratic, and more clustered than they are now. Additionally, they combined and interacted more often, eventually leading to larger and more intricate structures. The universe has been expanding and changing ever since the Big Bang. Some of the phases and transitions of the universe has seen include inflation, reheating, nucleosynthesis, recombination, the dark ages, reionization, star formation, galaxy formation, structure formation, and the dominance of dark energy. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered six fully formed galaxies that were barely 500 million years old after the Big Bang, not just one. This is problematic. A team from the University of Minnesota Twin Cities studied a rare tiny galaxy that created new stars at an astonishingly rapid rate given its size using groundbreaking data from the James Webb Space Telescope. One of the tiniest galaxies ever found at such a distance, it may provide important clues about the galaxies that formed soon after the universe's creation. This galaxy is so little in the vast cosmic fabric, its volume is only a millionth that of the beautiful Milky Way. Nevertheless, despite its small size, it nevertheless produces stars at a rate that is comparable to that of its massive sibling. 
The celestial beauties we observe in the neighboring cosmos today are very different from these ancient galaxies which flourished when the world was just beginning. Scientists work to solve the cryptic beginnings of the first stars and galaxies, which are shrouded in the cosmic dark ages. By delving into the depths of these cosmic mysteries, the great introduction of the cosmos is still veiled in secrecy waiting to be revealed. The James Webb Space Telescope is revealing a wealth of new information every day, revealing an early universe that is far stranger than anything we could have imagined. As we take in these cosmic wonders, the question arises, is the status quo about to undergo a profound transformation that will challenge the fundamental nature of the Big Bang? Do let us know your thoughts and join the discussion in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos to you. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the next one.